it. Stop, stop. Stop it, please. Stop. No, stop. Come on. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Herman Mamachi. Uh, how many Albanians are here tonight, today? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, maybe if uh, probably you know me, the Albanian uh, guys, knows me as an actor, comedian, showman, uh, producer. Now, today, I feel more, more than ever like a motivational speaker. So, if you would like to translate my name, why, why are you laughing, guys? <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, they are laughing because they know my translation, my name, translated in English. Who wants to know that? Yeah, you want to know? Okay, I, I, I'm gonna... My name in English, it means wind of mountain, motherfucker. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, they're, they're bullying me all my life with this surname. I, I swear to God it's true. Yeah, you ask the Albanians here. Yeah, I don't know why I have this surname. I, yeah, it's really weird, but you get used to it. It's, you get used to everything that happens in your life. But when you, you're a young boy and you don't understand some things, for example, you don't understand the meaning of your last name and you grew up, when you grow up, you realize the truth about your last name, the meaning, and then you realize the horrible fact that you cannot change it. <laughs> I used to think about this all the time, man, and, and I, I, suddenly I realized, oh, that's why all the guys are bullying me. Hey, my Martin, motherfucker, motherfucker. <laughs> and I used to, th to think about the terrible moments in my life that has, have to come. For example, what, what I'm going to say to my wife? How can I explain my surname? And especially, what I'm going to say to my father-in-law? Hello, sir. I'm, I'm the motherfucker. <laughs> and what about my son? Will, will he be bullied just like I'm being right now, that days? And uh, one of these horrible days, I was sitting uh, on a sidewalk, and I figured out a solution came into my mind. What I thought that day was about to change the rest of my life forever. And maybe yours, who knows? Among all this pain and this negativity, a ray of light uh, entered in my mind and gave meaning to all this absurdity. An inner voice inside me said, Hey, my father is a funny man. My grandfather is a funny man too. And uh, they were funny. They are not boring just like you're being right now in this sidewalk. Not, not you. Me there. <laughs> And because they were so funny, I, the, the inside voice said to me, because they were so funny, ah, they went to a town hall office, probably drunk, and they changed our last name just to have a laugh. And I suddenly felt good. Well, this is it. This is what I'm going to say to all my friends. And they, are, they were not going to bully me anymore, and they, they will not laugh with my surname anymore if I'm laughing too. So I started taking this as a joke. And as a 10 years old, this is how I sorted this out. I made peace with myself, peace with my family, peace with my friends, and I made peace with my last name, all right? This was the start of a process that I'm gonna talk to you about in a minute. My friends, if you master the ability to change your interpretations, you can be happy forever, just like I am, with this last name <laughs> that I have. And this is how you're going to release your full potential. And first, but first you have to know 
to understand what beliefs you have to change in order to fix the concept for yourself and for your life. You can stop believing on things you believe by changing the interpretation on things. I, I used to think that I invented this until I read the book of Tony Robbins. <laughs> yeah, he destroyed my <laughs> invention. <laughs> but I, I, and, I, and I went on all his events, now he's my mentor. And but listen, if you want to change your life, you have to change your feelings. And if you want to change your feelings, you have to change your thoughts. But to change your thoughts, you have to change your interpretations. And to change your interpretations, interpretations you have to change your beliefs. First, you have to know what a belief is. I'm not talking about religion, beliefs. Keep your religion, we're not talking about that. A belief is something that others put on us. All right, we have good beliefs and bad beliefs. Probably you know this, but I'm talking about with, with, for, for the ones that don't know this yet. And uh, there are beliefs that uh, build us or destroy us. A good belief is when somebody say to you, hey, you can do this, you, you're good in this. And a bad belief, for example, your boss can say this, or maybe your father, or I don't know, your friend. They, 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 they put you a bad belief, for example, if they say for a long time, hey, you're, you're not good at anything. You, you're the last. You're, you're an idiot. Or you're uh, my name, my last name. And if they say this to you for a long time, this is a trauma for you. And this trauma, it becomes your belief. And according to this belief, is the way you perform all your life. I'll tell you a personal story to illustrate this. In Albania, we have uh, many superstitions. And one, once my, my, my grandma, grandmother, uh, which we called Nona, we called Nona, our grandmother, and uh, she, she told me, when I was five years old, she told me a story, and, and she said, Herman, you don't go at night to throw the garbage out at night, because there are jinde, how you say jinde? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Albanians know this, but jinde uh, are like ghosts. There are ghosts that stays on the garbage, and if you step on a ghost, you will die soon. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. You know that 95% of our way to think, say, and do things come from our subconscious, our beliefs, our programming. So that's your. And and if you are five year old, you 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 don't have a program. You don't have belief. Whatever they say to you, it becomes your belief. So I I gotta believe. <laughs> and guess what? One day my mother came home. She said it was getting dark, and she said, "Emma, go take the trash out." I said, Mom, no. <laughs> what, no? Yeah. No, our ghosts, there are gin there. Where? At the garbage, they stay there in the night. Who told you this? No, not your mother. <laughs> Don't listen to her, she's an, she an old lady, you know. She, she has... No, no, the, the ghosts are real. No, they're not. No, they are. You're going. No, I'm not going. And now my mother switches into her professional way to motivate me. You go take the trash out or I'll beat you up. <laughs> huh? Yeah. My, my, mother was, my mother was a woman of her word. <laughs> yeah. And the problem is that she always over delivered. <laughs> yeah, she gave every, every time she gave more than she promised. <laughs> so, so these are the choices that a five-year-old boy have to make. I have these choices, to die from the ghosts <laughs> or to get beaten from my mother. And sure, I choose to die from the ghosts. <laughs> Who wants to get beaten from my mother? No. So I, I took the trash and I went out. I was shaking. I was finding, I was finding the road without ghosts. <laughs> and, I, I, and finally, I, I went there. I threw the garbage and when I stepped back, I heard a sound. <laughs> oh my God! I step on a ghost! I run home, I was crying, I was shaking, I was screaming. 
And she said, I step on a ghost. I told you there were ghosts there. No, they're not. There were ghosts. I, I heard I step on it. Trust me. Now I'm going to die. That's what Nona said. No, you're not. Yeah, this is funny. Or no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is funny. But back the, the days, it was a horrible thing. Three days in a row, I couldn't sleep. And, you know, they, they, I, I, was, I was sick. I was crying. Every day I, I, I woke up and I said, well, am, I, am I dead? And they brought me Nona. And Nona <laughs> said, hey, there are no ghosts. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about yesterday? What? what? Bring the ghost here. Let's, let's talk to the ghost. If, if, if the ghost said we're cool, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. So a few years later, I grew up. And I realized that Nona wasn't really thinking straight when she told me that. And so what happened? I changed the belief. All right? Because I realized that ghost doesn't exist. So ghosts do not exist. <laughs> oh, or do they? All right. Ghosts do not exist. I'm joking. I'm joking. Ghosts do not. Stay cool. We're, we're safe here. Ghosts do not exist, so I changed the interpretation of the things that is related to the ghost. And so my thinking, now my thoughts are that it's cool to, it's okay to, to throw the garbage at night. So my feelings, there is no anxious, uh, no stress, and my life is that I can throw the garbage in the night. My friends, the same things happens with every belief of ours. To sum it up. Yeah, we created our life, but our beliefs and our beliefs are the things that they put on us. So if you want to change your life, you have to change your limiting belief that is blocking you. Ah. Somewhere, somehow, someone has put you in you a limiting belief that is blocking you. Maybe, uh, for example, you did something bad in the past. So what is your limiting belief? Everyone have a limiting belief that is blocking. What's your limiting belief? You, maybe your limiting belief is that you did something uh, wrong in the uh, past, so you cannot forgive yourself. But let me tell you that the person that did that is not you. If you were you now, you, could not do that. And uh, we, not, we don't forgive ourselves. We did something wrong and we don't let it go. So that belief is that we are what we did. Yes, I am. I did that. I am like that. You know, some people, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm taking just an example, not, not so cool example, but some people go to the toilet and they go to the toilet and they finish what they have to finish, and they get out and press the button, and they flush, and they go. But some, some other, they go to the toilet, and they do what they do, and they get out, and they see. <laughs> yeah. So, press the button and go. What you did, you did. You cannot change the, <laughs> the past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let it go. <laughs> so this is it's just one thing that we cannot change, the, the past. So let it go and forgive yourself. That is blocking you. <laughs> But that's out, so it's not blocking you anymore. Just press the button. So there are moments when we can take all of that is happening to us and change it and make it that is happening for us. The things that you think that are destroying us actually are the things that are building us. Exactly the words that they are meant to put us down, they are uh, taking us up higher. I'm telling you, this is my story. Because sometimes, with or without wanting, somebody have, has put a belief in you. 
And that belief is blocking you for getting the best you can get, for doing the best you can do, for being the best you can be. It's up to you, it's up to me, it's up to every one of us to create our own empowering beliefs, to create the lives we want to live. So, what's your limiting belief? Find your limit belief and find it, change it, and win the world. So, I was... But now I'm the motherfucker that I'm here. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love you guys. Have a great time.